Welcome back to the Hangry District Kitchen, everybody, for this series, Are You Not Entertained? As I give you tips and tricks on how to entertain. So this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make one hot appetizer to add to your cold appetizers as people come in. So we have a cheese board over here that is always a great option when you're entertaining. And then one thing you can pull out and really look like a star are mini crab balls. I am a Maryland girl and I love crab cakes. So this is one that I always pull out when I have people over. You can make them ahead of time, pop them in the broiler for eight minutes, and then pull them out to oohs and ahs from your guests. And it's simple, this is how you do it. You start with some lump crab meat. If you wanna go big, you can get the jumbo lump. But when you take it out of the can, you want to make sure that you feel through it without breaking up the lumps too much for any sort of shell. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna gently break it apart and feel for any sort of shell. I mean, I like knowing that there is shell in it. That means that it was shelled by hand and it's really hard to avoid all pieces of shell. So I'm just gonna feel because who wants to be at a party Everything is a finger food and then you're searching around in your mouth for a piece of crab shell. No, thank you. Might as well just see yourself out at that point. <laughs> I guess it's better than a hair though. Okay, this feels pretty good. Oh. No, I thought I felt one, but this feels pretty good. I don't feel any big pieces of shell. I'm still trying to keep those big lumps intact but you do want to do your due diligence when looking through the crab meat. Okay. We are shell free. I'm gonna give my hands a rinse. And we are going to jump right into the dressing for the crab cakes. So as a Maryland girl, I like my crab cake to be mostly crab. So you'll see it's quite simple here for the dressing. We're gonna crack one egg. Always crack your egg on a flat surface to avoid any bacteria from the egg getting inside, from the eggshell. Okay, one egg. I'm just going to scramble that up with a fork going from side to side so that all the membrane is incorporated to the yolk. We're not whipping any air into it. We're just emulsifying the egg. Looks pretty good. You don't want any long stringy pieces of the white. So I think we're all set with that. Now we're gonna add just a tablespoon or so of mayonnaise. In our household, we love this avocado oil mayonnaise. So not as much as you think. So dab will do ya. Then into the mix, I'm gonna use a little bit of coarse ground mustard and mustard powder. I like a lot of tang in my crab cakes. Yellow mustard powder, about a teaspoon, a little more if you like it. I've done this recipe so many times that I do not need to measure it out, but I will link you to the video to the recipe of the crab cakes. Some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you pronounce it, the W sauce that brings tang and happiness into my life. I really like to go heavy with the Worcestershire. I just think it gives such a unique flavor to the crab cake. It's delicious and I love it. So I'll go about a tablespoon and a half with that. Then Old Bay or Bay seasoning of some kind that you have, sprinkle that in. I know it's, uh, it's an abomination that I don't have actual Old Bay here, I'm out. But this is delicious Bay seasoning and that's going right in. Then we'll add a couple of dashes of hot sauce Favorite hot sauce in the world is DC made Little Red Fox, owned and operated here in the Washington DC. Um, it's my favorite coffee shop. They also make their own hot sauces and I'm obsessed with it, so you should go there right now. I'm just gonna add in a splash of the hot sauce. And then mix this up to combine it. Okay. 
I just splashed some on my face. Tastes great. Okay. Once that is well incorporated, you're gonna let that sit off to the side while we get our crab ready. The only filling that I'm going to use are crackers. Uh, Ritz crackers or saltines are my favorite. This is a butter cracker similar to Ritz. I'm going to use nine, exactly nine. It's my lucky number and they always turn out perfect. You're going to just crack, crush them over top of the crab so that the crab can start to absorb some of the cracker and that's gonna be the binder. Some ASMR for you. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Just kind of let the moisture absorb from the crab to the cracker. And now pour the dressing over. And then you wanna combine ever so gently. You don't want these crab balls to be dense. You don't want them to be overworked. You just wanna combine it until they all come together, all of the ingredients. I really feel it best with my hands. So I'm just gonna use those tools. Okay. This feels well combined. Well, the best way to make uniform crab balls or cookies of any kind is a trusty ice cream scoop. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way because this is a big scoop. I think it is a, I'm not sure, an inch. So I'm just gonna scoop it about this much. Chicken's done. And then put it onto my baking sheet. You can form them a little more with your hands when you're ready, when you're all done. But there's very little binder in here, so you'll have to give them a little help with your hands. These are a very impressive appetizer to bring out. Just serve them with a little bit of lemon. That's how I like to serve them. You could do a little tartar sauce if you like, but I think the crab cakes really speak for themselves and they don't need too much. When we were children eating crabs in Ocean City, Maryland, my twin brother had all the patience in the world and would pick his crabs and save a whole pile of crab meat while he was picking them. I was the eat as you go type of person. So anytime that he achieved this, I, I would always say, let's save it and make crab cakes. And he just took the whole handful and ate it right away. Dipped it in butter all in his mouth. I always, uh, Looked up to him for that self-control, but now I just buy it because I don't have the patience to pick it myself. Okay, we have these beautiful crab balls. Now this was a pound of crab meat. So you can see for this size mini crab cake, it makes eight. <clears throat> I usually do two pounds and you can make them even smaller, really poppable one bite size crab balls to get a lot of bang for your buck there. So what I'm going to do is just brush them with some melted butter and then pop them in the oven um, on broil for eight minutes. Then I'm gonna turn them around just 180 in the oven for another eight and I'll show you what they look like. So after eight minutes um, on each side in the oven on broil, these are our beautiful crab cakes. 
we melted butter and uh, brushed butter over each one and then broiled them eight minutes, took the tray out, spun it around 180 degrees, and here you have it.